Uberville woman claims a former Uber driver took her to his apartment and inappropriately touched her. It, again, is the only known reported incident of its kind in the Austin area, and it's a situation city leaders want to prevent by approving tougher background checks. This afternoon, the Mobility Commission approved a long list of regulations. KXAN's Sophia Beausoleil has more. 18-year-old Regina Laura doesn't have a car. She needed to run some errands two weeks ago and used Uber, something she says she'll never use again. He told me, uh, I live right there. Do you want to see my house? And I said, no, you know, I kept telling him I just want to go home. I have to go to work. This is getting really weird. Travis County deputies say a driver by the name of Michael told Regina to get out of the car, took her to his apartment and locked the door. And he hugged me. He told me to hug him back. And then he kept telling me not to be afraid that he wasn't going to make me do anything I wasn't ready for. Regina says she was able to convince the driver to go to a gas station and then called 911. What happened is rare, but a reason Austin City Council member Ann Kitchen says she wants drivers to get extra background checks. Every other driver gets a fingerprint. And not only drivers, but there's a whole range of professions that, as a society, we say need to be fingerprinted to protect the public. Uber says its background checks are secure and scan for offenses across counties, states, and federal databases. Regina says she doesn't know if increased safety checks would have prevented her situation, but says it wouldn't hurt. You're going to feel safer because they're taking it more seriously. They're looking more into the people's backgrounds and letting you know that they chose these people because they think you're going to be safe with them. And that was Sophia Bosale reporting. Uber says Michael Oluwihuge is no longer a driver for their company. He had passed their background check since no major criminal history showed up, like a felony conviction. KXAN did find out he is currently charged with misdemeanor theft under, 15, under $500 in Williamson County from a similar charge from 2009 that was dismissed. Right now, there are stark differences between what's required for cab drivers and what's required for Uber or Lyft drivers. The city conducts full criminal background checks on taxi drivers, but as we mentioned, Uber and Lyft do their own background checks. Taxis have a permit limit in the city of Austin, and each one costs $450. $50. Transportation networking companies don't have to pay for permits and they don't have a limit. Taxis also have a lot of fare requirements, including a $1 per passenger peak hour surcharge. Until the council votes on a new agreement, Uber and Lyft don't have any fare stipulations. Well,